In this video, I'll demonstrate some of the graphing options you may have to help illustrate crosstab results. You may not need to present your results in graph form. A table may suffice. That said, a few options do exist. Now, it should also be said that graphing crosstab results is not easy. I'll demonstrate a couple of user-written commands, though, that may be of some use. Keep in mind, though, the following graphs work best when dealing with variables with few categories. The first option is the cat block command. Here's the generic command. Notice that in the initial command I've listed, var1 and var2 rather than indicate independent and dependent variables. Either order works. I recommend graphing both ways to see which is easiest to read. I'll demonstrate both using the race, ethnicity, and trust variables from this cross tabulation. First, let's type in cat plot, eth race, new trust, comma percent. Now row variable again will be your independent variable to correspond with your cross tabulation, in this case eth race. Legend. Now position indicates the position that the legend should be in. Six means at the six o'clock position. Row one indicates how you want the legend presented, and I want it in a single row. You'll see how that turns out. And recast just simply tells it to do a bar graph. So we can see this is the first graphing results. You can see the legend in the row across the bottom. You can see that it's grouped it into the two categories of the dependent variable. And you could go ahead and, and edit this graph if you wanted to. Let's look at it if we reverse eth race and new trust at the beginning here and leave everything else the same. Even if you reverse those variables, the variable after percent remains your row variable or your independent variable. And you can see how this graph varies from the other. Now my legend includes the two categories of my dependent variable and my independent variable groups are located along the x-axis. Now you may also want to try a stacked version of the cat plot. Here's the generic command. Again, the fewer the categories, the better. So in this particular case, I'll type cat plot my dependent variable, which is new trust, comma over my independent variable, f raise, stack, ac vars, percent, again, my independent variable, f raise, recast and bar. And we can see how that stacks those categories. Again, I think this works best when you have a dependent variable that has two, maybe three categories. Any more than that, it become difficult to read. Finally, if you also want the graph to demonstrate the portion of the sample each group represents, you may opt to use the spine plot command. Here's the generic command. Spine plot, dependent variable, independent variable, comma, percent, legend on. Here's an example. Spine plot, my dependent variable, new trust, my independent variable, f race, percent, and legend on. You can see how the, the width of each column represents the portion of the sample that each race ethnic group comprises. That can be difficult to read, particularly in the case of Asian Americans here, which are a very small percentage of the sample. In general, I think it would be a rare occasion when you'd actually use the spine plot graph. So those are two options, though, that may be useful if you want to graph the results of your cross-tabulation. Hope they're useful.